feeling frustrated, maybe you've got resentment or anger or even regret because you're not reaching your goals right now, I want to run you through a really simple framework that all of you can follow to truly start claiming what you want out of your life and start hitting your goals. Now this will work for you regardless of whether it's your business goals, your mindset, whether it's for your health or even just for your relationship that you're in right now. Let me just get into another space. Now trust me when I say this, I am 29 years old, but five years ago, my life was completely different to how it is right now. I was in a dead end job, I say dead end, I was in sales and I really did not enjoy sales. I needed to get into it though because I was in loads of debt, mountains of debt I need to get myself out of. I've now bought the cars of my dreams to live in, the house I've always wanted to live in. I've earned multiple millions online, so I know what it takes to actually hit your goals. Let me shut this door. By this point, I presume you guys got some pen and paper. I'm serious about that. I want to work with this with you today. Uh, I'm going to be running you through a system called the Rule of One. And this is a forgotten system, and I'm adding my own individual spin on this. This has completely changed the way that I've been goal setting and hitting goals and just achieving the things that I say that I'm going to achieve within my life again and again and again. So let's do this. So the Rule of One, okay? And what I want you to do, first of all, for us to kickstart this is I want you to write down 10 realistic goals you'd like to hit uh, by the end of the year. Okay, is this microphone all right? Yeah, that'll do, okay. Okay, so 10 realistic goals that you'd like to hit by the end of the year. Okay, and I say realistic, I've highlighted that because if you're broke right now and you want to make a million, that can't be your goal. The likelihood of you making a million at the end of the year is zero to none. Okay, so make these realistic. Think about these like rationally. Can you actually hit these? Okay, and they can be adventurous, absolutely. I like people that set big goals and we're going to micronize them and figure out how we can actually achieve them. But just make sure they're realistic. Okay, now this is a relevant of time frame. Some of you will be watching this with 10 months to go to the end of the year. Some of you are watching it with 10 days to go to the end of the year, all right? This is irrelevant, okay? We're gonna set these goals and we're gonna try and achieve them before the end of the year. Let me just zoom in on this right now. Okay. So by the end of December, or by the 31st of December, and I want you to write these in present tense, okay? So what I mean by that is I am, okay? So I am doing this right now. So I am earning, let's say these are all examples, $10,000 per month. All right, what else? Um, I have $20,000 saved up for a down payment on a house. So it's pretty loud in here, but uh, yeah, I'm in Cape Town, South Africa right now. The benefit of having location freedom in the business is pretty awesome. It's sun, it's freezing cold in the UK right now. It's lovely and warm here, so I'm escaping the winter, but I'm in a co-working space. So you're gonna hear some background noise, bear with me. Um, I have taken my mum on holiday. Okay, what other goals? Uh, some personal ones. I have proposed to my partner, to my partner, okay. I drive a Range Rover, okay. I weigh X weight, okay. You're just giving you some inspiration here, guys. Like, just think about this in your life. What are the things that you actually want? I'm gonna make these checklists as well. Now, I would recommend you doing the same. When you're writing this down, write it as a checklist on the paper. If you wanna be doing this, this is actually Notion, the software that I'm using right now. You can use Notion as well if you want to, um, or you can just create a Google Doc. I don't really care, but just make sure you're writing these things down with me. Don't do this later, because you won't do it. Do this with me today, all right? Now, writing this down will significantly increase your chances of achieving these goals. It's very important to understand, okay? But first, you will need to change your character, okay? You need to embody the above, okay? You need to embody the person that deserves to have all of these things that we're going through in the above, okay? And we'll come on to that a little bit later. You know, this has actually been proven that, and this is in Cal a California University, uh, that those who write down their goals are 33% more likely to achieve them. So why wouldn't you write this down, okay? And take this very seriously. And ask yourself this major question, okay? I want you to ask yourself, if I had a magic wand, 
and you could wave it and you could achieve any of these goals that we're going through up here, okay? Any of the goals that you've written down and you could achieve any of them, which of those would they be? Which would be the most significant goal on this list? So if I had a magic wand and I could wave it to achieve any of the above goals, which would have the greatest impact on my life right now, okay? Bear with me, guys. We're doing this off the cuff. I'm gonna be, there's going to be spelling mistakes. I'll probably do some formatting at the end of this. I'll give you guys access to this spreadsheet. If you drop a comment down below, um, then I'll give you access to this spreadsheet. In fact, we'll do a giveaway on this. I want to know what your number one goal is. I want to know specifically what you've concluded is the goal that you've written down that's going to have the most impact on your life right now, okay? Um, so comment it down below underneath this video and then circle or highlight it on the list that you've written, okay? So here I can say, all right, I'm going to set this one here. This is going to be the goal that I'm going to set, okay? And we're going to go through how we can actually achieve that goal. So circle, I'll highlight it, okay? But don't overthink this. This is really, really important. Don't overthink this. It should jump out at you, Okay? you will naturally gravitate to the goal, which is the most significant and it's going to have the biggest impact on your life, okay? Now, I also want you to use this as an archive, okay? I want you to use this video as an archive to set this goal right now. You're making the commitment that you're going to achieve this goal before the end of the year. And I want you to come back at the end of the year and I want you to comment down below letting me know whether you actually completed it, okay? So use this video as an archive for this goal. Come back at the end of the year and let me know if you achieved it. Okay, and drop a comment with your number one goal and I'll be giving away, we're gonna give away. I'll give you a giveaway, a coaching call, call uh, with a member of our high-end coaching team that'll be able to look at your goals right now and help you actually achieve those, okay? We have a mentorship company. I'm gonna give you a coaching call with one of our best coaches right now, and it's gonna be completely for free. Um, so I'll be able to give away a coaching call for every one in 100 comments, okay? So you've got plenty of chances to win. Now, for those of you that are watching this within the first 10 days, I'm still doing a giveaway where I'm giving away $1,000 at this point. Check link in the description. You can figure out how to enter that as well. And just before we do, I just want to reiterate that the rule of one is about intensely focusing. It's about intense focus on a single goal that will create a domino effect on the rest of your life and the other goals you have set. So many people in life set a huge amount of goals. They want the nice car, they want the nice house, they want all these amazing things and they want them right now. But they haven't yet considered that it is so hard to, or so easy to overwhelm your brain with so many different moving parts. It is difficult enough to achieve one goal and that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to achieve one goal using the rule of one that is gonna have a knock-on impact on everything else, okay? You'll be, you'll be shocked when we break this down on how many other areas of your life, how many of your other goals this will impact. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are we gonna achieve it? Okay, how are you actually gonna get this or hit this goal? And I want you to transfer it first of all to another sheet, okay? So put it on another bit of paper, put it on another Word doc, transfer your one goal to another sheet, okay? And we're just gonna focus on that right now. So I said I'm gonna take this goal here, I have $20,000 saved up for down payment on a house. I always talk about how to earn 10K a month. If you want to know about that, then drop a comment. I can talk about that in a future video. That's all good. Um, I've got a bunch of content on my channel that I can recommend for you to go and get started there as well. But let's do something a little bit different. So by December 31st, I have 20,000 saved up for a down payment on a house. This is the goal we're gonna stick with. This is the goal that I'm gonna teach you how to achieve and you're gonna be able to do exactly the same thing for whatever you've got written down on your sheet right now, regardless of what area of your life you're trying to do it. So we're gonna break it down into three core categories. One is immediate objectives. And I'll explain these in a moment. Then we're gonna have short-term milestones and then we're gonna have long-term impacts. Right, 
Let's fix the formats in there. Just give these some colors so we're gonna, it's gonna be easy for us to differentiate between these. Um, in fact, I'll just leave that for now. Let's break this up with a div. Media objectives. Okay, so what are these immediate objectives? What does that actually mean? Okay, well, immediate objectives are the first actionable step in achieving this goal. Okay, so the first actionable steps. And the first thing we're going to do is identify the smaller action steps. Okay, the smaller actions. We're going to micronize the goal. Okay, and micronizing is something I've spoken about on this channel when I'm talking about goals in general. So we have a macro goal, which is by December 31st, I have 20,000 saved up for a down payment on a house. And then we're going to micronize it. We're going to make it smaller. We're going to make it more manageable. Okay. So what are some of the small action takes, action steps? Well, if we want to save 20,000 over the course of the year, it's like what, 1800 a month. So let's just say we want to save 2000 um, a month on average. Okay. That's a smaller action step. Uh, well, what about if you're listening to this and you think, oh, I can't save 20K. I'm broke. I've got a shit job. I can't even save two grand a month. There's no way I can do that. I need a business. I need a new job. So we're going to get a higher paying job. Okay, or we're going to start a business. Okay, and I know this in itself is a pretty big task, right? Maybe this actually should be your number one goal. You're going to find that within these goals that you've set, there are other goals that are actually going to be more prevalent. Starting a business is not a small task, okay? So we're probably going to want to micronize this too, okay? And I don't want this video to be too long, so we'll keep things short for now. I'll recommend you some videos at the end of this if you want to start a business, you want to get better jobs. If you want me to create more content, you can drop a comment down below and I'll create it in the future. Uh, but we can continue learning. It doesn't have to finish after this video is all said and done, okay? So, and then we need to make the first move, okay? We need to get immediate momentum. Momentum is key. It's all well and good setting a goal, but if you don't take action immediately, if you don't decide, okay, how am I going to? What is the first step? Then it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to achieve it at all, okay? So the first step here, based on these smaller actions that we've set, okay, I'm going to spend 20 minutes a day looking for a new job, okay? Uh, and maybe we want to start the business, and then maybe I'll spend one hour a day learning a new skill. Okay, because starting a business, you're going to probably need to start a skills-based business. And so let's start with the skill before we move on to, okay, what are we, uh, yeah, how are we actually going to go out there and start signing up clients or making our first money? Um, we also want to automate where possible. Okay, so are there ways for us to automate this? Can we streamline this process, these small steps? So for example, if we're trying to save up money, we could set up a direct debit um, into a savings account monthly, okay? So we're gonna to start to saving a little bit of money every single month, we can automate that somewhat. And one of the first immediate objectives that we need to make sure that we've got in check is we have to simplify our environment. Jesus, not going well for me today, hey? Simplify your environment. There you go, okay. So many people set these lofty goals and the things they want to achieve, but then their circumstances and everyone around them and the things that they're doing and their habits and their routine are so out of whack. And I can talk about this for hours. If you want me to, let me know. But at the very least, you need to ask yourself two fundamental questions. What am I doing right now that doesn't aid my goal that I have set, okay? Or what am I doing right now that doesn't aid my goal that I need to do less of, okay? So what are the habits that I have? What are the things I'm doing in my life? Just look at yourself over the course of two weeks. What are you doing right now that does not aid this goal that we have just set and you have just written down, okay? And, and on the flip side to that, what am I doing right now that does aid my goal that I need to, need to do more of, okay? Just ask yourself these two fundamental questions. It's very important. Because if you can't do this, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. If you can't change yourself, if you can't change your environment, you haven't got a chance in achieving whatever goal you've achieved here. Okay, because if you haven't achieved that thing already, okay, it's because of the person that you are right now. You have to change who you are to be able to change the result and the matter that you have in front of you, okay, to have the things. I'm a completely different person to who I was five years ago. When I was in sales, okay, I'm a completely different person to the Jordan that's now a multimillionaire. Okay, you physically cannot be the same person because if you were the, if you, if I was the, if I was millionaire worthy, 
I would have already been a millionaire. I wasn't. I was this adolescent young guy, cocksure in loads of debt that was trying to push through sales and needed to really sort my life out and stop going out on the weekend and stop partying all the time and stop spending my money on shit because I had an ego problem. I needed to fix myself before I could fix the solutions and so, or find solutions to the issues that I had and achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve. Okay, so this is really important. A lot of this stuff is harsh and a lot of you guys don't want to hear this. Okay, many people don't want to hear that they have to change, but you have to change in your life if you want your circumstances to change. Right, next one. Short-term milestones. Okay, what are we going to do here? How are we going to do this? Let's make this orange. Okay, there you go. And let's just change this one. So we're gonna come on to it. Let's change long-term impact to red. Okay, so what is short-term milestones? It's the progress points along the journey of your goal, okay? So these are the progress points, the milestones, the goal posts that we are setting, okay? That allow us to be able to check that we are actually on target, that we're actually getting there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set achievable targets, first of all. And this is going to be the next three months. But you are going to repeat this, okay? So you're going to set these targets right now for the next three months that are going to get you to the point that you need to be in, so you're on target. Then when you hit those three, that three-point marker, you're going to come back on this, make sure you've hit everything, and you are going to repeat this process again. So what would be the first steps here in, in hitting this goal of making 20K, okay? So... Launch a new business, like we said, okay? Um, and then we're gonna save 5,000. We've got a financial milestone there. So save 5,000 in the bank, okay? Uh, well, how am I gonna start a new business if I'm working full-time right now? Am I gonna get a new job? I need to wake up earlier, okay? So start waking up early. Get granular with this, okay? So you have more time. Write these down, write the reasons down. Uh, maybe you're wasting so much time right now scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram. So reduce uh, my screen time to below two hours a day. Okay? So all of these things are going to help us. These are all little tasks. These are all little targets uh, that we can hit that are going to indicate that we are on the right path, that we are going in the right direction. Okay? So let's pop all of these underneath here. And you're gonna tick these off one by one. And you're gonna reassess these every three months, okay? So you know what you need to do in order to reach the goals. And then what you're gonna do as you hit them is you're gonna reflect, okay? And you're gonna adjust. You need to make sure that you are asking yourself fundamental questions based on your progress. Okay? So at the end of these three months, or even every week you can do this if you want to, ask yourself what worked well. Ask yourself, what challenges did I face? Ask yourself, what do I do, need to do differently as a result of that? What do I need to do differently going forward? Okay? So, what have I done that worked well? What challenges did I face? And what do I need to do differently going forward? Ask yourself these questions. It's very, very important for you to know that you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing because you will have to change the goalposts. What you think you need to do is gonna be very different to what you actually have to do. And the only way you're gonna truly know what you actually have to do, what you, the work you have to put in, is by actively doing it and then reassessing the situation and coming back to it. Okay, so we need to allow that time to reflect and adjust. Cool, okay? And then when we do hit these milestones and when we do start ticking them off, we need to celebrate. Very important. Within reason though, okay? Maybe you just have to put, but not too much. By the way, guys, I'm gonna give you all access to this sheet. I'm creating this with you guys as a resource that you can all follow. I'm expecting you to be doing this as I'm doing it. I would like you to be doing that. That is how it's you're gonna really, you're getting the most benefit out of this. Um, but if you want access to this, I'll put a link in the description. You can sign up to our newsletter and you can, yeah, you can access this document and reference it for another time or maybe send this video to a friend. So let's go out, uh, but not partying. Maybe we'll go out for a nice dinner. Uh, maybe you could. Maybe you could go for a night out. Right? Maybe you can go for a night out, but don't allow your dopamine sources to get too messed up. Okay? Uh, or buy yourself something you want. 
Um, within reason, though, of course, this is a financial goal. We need to be thinking about this. We want to save up money. We don't want to be spending money uh, too much. Okay, but you do need to celebrate. You do need to celebrate when you hit these milestones. But you really don't want to celebrate too early. It's good to celebrate progress. It's healthy for your dopamine. It keeps you on target. It keeps you motivated. Um, but within reason, it has to be when you only when you achieve these milestones, not when you achieve something else that you haven't got written down here. Make the plan. Stick to that and be religious with it. Okay. So let's move on and go to our final point, which is long-term impact. Okay, so what is long-term impact? What does this actually mean? This is the, it's probably an obvious one, the profound impact, um, or the profound change, I should say. Uh, pursuing and hitting this goal um, will have on your life, okay? Sweet. So how can we get an idea of what this impact is going to be? Well, we need to get a very clear vision. Okay? Know exactly what you want. Down to the T. Like, it's not good enough just to know I want to buy a house. Okay? So let's, let's, we, let's establish how, what that house is actually going to look like. Let's create a vision board. Okay? A physical vision board. Many people will create a vision board and they'll create it on something like Myra or whatever. And these softwares can be really great, but they don't allow you or force you to be able to look at that vision board every single day. When I first started my business, I had a, a board is uh, made out of chipboard, like, uh, you know what I mean? It's like the chip, it's like the, the, the shit wood. Uh, and I would pin stuff, a pin board. I'd pin pictures, I printed off a car, I printed off a house, printed off the girlfriend I wanted, printed off the life that I wanted to live, all the things that I wanted to achieve. And I had it straight in front of me on my desk next to my computer. And I would look at it every single day, okay? And I would manifest that life every single day. It's so important that you have some kind of visual representation. You can practice that visualization. Everything that was on that board I've achieved and managed to get hold of and much, much more. Okay, so if, we, if this is the house goal, make this specific, okay? What does the house look like? Okay, how will you do the interior? Okay, what are you going to do there? How will your overall life be? Ask yourself these questions, okay, and spend some time. It's quite a nice creative project. Spend some time creating a vision board. Don't look at this like I know for a fact there's going to be some macho men watching this right now thinking, oh, vision board, like I'm not 18 years old. I'm not going to do that. What's the bigger pain? Dropping your ego and actually doing this thing and trusting in the process, trying something new, okay? Or staying in a position you're in right now, unfulfilled because you're not reaching your goals. You have nothing to lose from this. Get involved with it. These processes work and they're built out for a reason. Don't skip any of them. Build a vision board and visualize exactly what you want to achieve here. Okay? And prepare what's going to change. Or prepare for what's going to change. Okay? Think ahead. Think ahead to what or how your life is going to be different. Ask yourself, what does hitting this goal mean for your other goals okay and what is the logical next step I'll tell you what it's hard typing out things with an adhd brain whilst simultaneously trying to think about that point so what does hitting this goal first of all mean for your other goals so does this goal directly impact all the others does it make it easier if yes Awesome, okay? Write that down, establish exactly how. Because then you're gonna be able to establish what the logical next step is. Okay, now I've got my house, that's great. Well, the knock-on effect of that is I was forced to then start a business. Well, now I've got the business, I can take my mum a holiday. Now I've got the business, what else can we do? We've got the company now, we're making money, I might be earning 10K a month. I might be able to propose to my partner and buy the ring I've wanted to get. I might be able to drive that Range Rover. And I'll tell you what, running the business, you're probably not gonna weigh the certain weight that you wanna weigh, but you're gonna get a lot of discipline in your life and then you'll probably be able to pull you. Pull your, pull your fat ass up and go to the gym instead. Or your skinny ass up and you want to gain some, gain some weight. Whatever, that was my goal. I was always a skinny little runt. I wanted to get bigger in the gym, okay? Business gave me that discipline, okay? Business forces you to do the little gritty shit every single day that you really don't want to be doing. And then the gym, health, all those things get easier. Okay, uh, so we've got our vision board. We're thinking about the next steps. We want to connect with this vision board board every day it needs to be written down here okay so we need to be looking at that that's why it wants to be physical put it somewhere that you can see it so you can use it as this uh, visualization technique uh, I would actually recommend you guys reading and we can talk about this uh, in another video I would recommend you reading The Secret okay The Secret by 
It's Rhonda someone. Just Google The Secret by Rhonda, you'll find this book. It's about the law of attraction, okay? The law of attraction is simply manifestation. In fact, what you could actually do is you could search law of attraction, Jordan Platten on YouTube. You'll actually find a video I put out about this. Okay, when you manifest, when you literally embody the person that you need to become in order to achieve the things that you want to achieve, when you picture yourself every single day being in those boots, being that person, you will become that person eventually. Now, there's more to this. I'd recommend you reading the book or watching the video. We can talk about this in a future video. Manifestation works incredibly well. That's why it's important for us to view that vision board so we get physically obsessed to it and we emit the energy required to receive that back, okay? We literally summon those things within our life. And I'm not talking about just thinking about it and then not having to put in the work. You still have to put in the work, but it is so much easier and things will start to align for you if you're practicing affirmations, visualization, um, and the law of attraction every single day, okay? Okay, we're getting into this. So I want you to follow these steps and I want you to stick to them, okay? And if you do this, Nothing will stop you from reaching your goals. You need to have to, un you need to understand this, okay? But this being said, I'm not gonna lie to you. Most of you won't hit your goals, okay? I will never sugarcoat this. You can go watch any of my content on starting a business. You can watch any of my content on mindset. I don't sugarcoat shit. I'll tell you how it is, okay? And you can go watch someone else who's gonna sell you the dream all you want, but I will never do that to you. I'm gonna be realistic with you. Most of you are not gonna hit your goals. You have to understand this. And the reason won't be because the goal is too big or anything like that. The reason will be because of you. You are the only person responsible for actually putting in the work and achieving the goals. So the reason will be you, okay? It will be your fault and nothing else, okay? If you understand this first and foremost as you're, when you're going into this, okay? So understand this and accept it fully, okay? You have to understand that you are the maker of your life. You are the person responsible for achieving your goals. Okay, everyone in this co-working space probably think, man, this guy's getting passionate about this, right? <laughs> This guy's getting passionate about this. I forget I'm not at home sitting recording this video, but I have to get this out for you guys. Like I get asked this all the time. I just feel compelled to recording this. All right. You need to have a strong mindset. Okay? To achieve anything. But you have to have a strong mindset to successfully complete or achieve the rule of one. You must have a strong mind and you need to be resilient. You need to understand that every single step, okay, and every micronized goal or micronized action step is a challenge within itself. Christ, come on. Okay. You will have setbacks. and you will lose motivation. You might be motivated as hell right now. You might be thinking, Jordan, this is the best video I've watched in so long, I feel so pumped up. You will lose that motivation. That is the bottom line. Motivation will only carry you so far. But the only thing that matters, okay, is consistency over time. Nothing else matters when it comes to achieving your goals irregardless of what your goals are. You set those micro goals, you set those smaller tasks, you break everything down from your immediate objectives, your short-term milestones, and your long-term impact. And then the only thing that matters is your consistency over time. Do not allow yourself to have one shit day and then to give up on everything for a week or two. Gaining that momentum is so much harder if you drop consistency. It is so much harder to pick yourself up the second time. Harness the energy you have right now, take immediate action and stay consistent over a period of time. And I promise you guys, you will hit your goals and you're going to see in 12 months time after this video is updated or uploaded, all of the people that are commenting down below that have achieved their goals. And I cannot wait to see you achieving your goals, commenting down below underneath this video, but you need to remain consistent over time. And I'm going to give you one final tip on this as well, because I've got a call coming up. I want you to look to find someone else in the comments, okay? who has a similar goal to you. 
and make them your accountability partner, okay? Because ultimately, we are stronger together. As humans, on this channel, whatever. We are stronger together. There are gonna be people in the comments of this video that have commented down below because they've entered the competition, which is awesome, you should do that if you haven't done it already. I wanna know your goals. I wanna see you achieve them. I wanna see that follow-up comment in a year's time. That have got similar goals to you. If they have got similar goals to you right now, then you can latch onto that person, reach out to them, and if they're the type of person that's engaging with this, they're likely gonna respond positively. And assign them as your accountability partner. Check in once a week. How are you getting on? How have you micronized this? How have you broken down all of the things, all the steps that you need to take in order to reach that goal? Work together, and then as a unison, you'll be able to piggyback off each other's success or each other's motivation levels, okay? If one of you is having a shit week, the other person will be able to pull the other one up, okay? If one of you is struggling with some outcome or some specific task, the other one will be able to pull them up and help them because they've already gone through it. Find someone that has similar goals to you and hold each other accountable during that period. And trust me, you'll be so much more likely to achieve that success. Accountability is fundamental in success. We need to be working in a pack. We have to be together and we have to be able to piggyback off each other's motivation and off what we're learning from each other. Now finally guys, for those of you that are watching this right now thinking, Jordan, I need to make more money. I need to start a business, but I have no idea where to start. That's actually the majority of the content I put out online. I help people start companies from no experience level whatsoever. Since making millions myself, I've helped thousands of other people start businesses of their own. And so what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna link a video underneath here, okay? I'll maybe put it in the description. This is gonna be the most logical path for you to take. If you have no business experience and you're looking for the path of least resistance right now, and this is gonna be hard work, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this for you, but I lay out the exact path it takes in order for you to go out there and start a company and start earning money of your own, regardless of where you are base. So guys, go smash your goals. Look forward to seeing what you comment in a year's time. I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.